President Evil Thor Remake, Chapter 15. Okay, so before we begin, uh, you should know that there's going to be some slight differences. I I just could not stop thinking about those treasures, so I decided to reload the previous saves and collect those treasures again. I got them and collected them, but did not think to record them. So now we're here. Thinking back, I think I should have redone part chapters 13 and 14 because, you know, I'm getting the tr those treasures again. I should have shown them, but well, now it feels too late. And also, a bit of an update. I've been having some problems uploading some of this stuff. I don't know if it's because my internet connection is a little bad because of all these storms that we've been having lately or not. But... Either way, um, things are a little different now. In fact, things might actually be slightly better because I got more money, a bit more money, and I can get some more upgrades and stuff like that. And uh, if I didn't already make it obvious before, I am going to show some of the interactions with the merchant, even though it's, I personally just don't think it's that big of a deal. I personally don't see it because it's not, it's not like he really says that much unique stuff unless you buy specific items like weapons, which are which is the stuff that I do show. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Got another spindle. Yes, I think that's how it's pronounced. Yeah, I admit, this is a pretty badass knife. Ooh, and can upgrade it too. Definitely going to be like main priority. That's going to be my main priority. Their defenses are no joke. God damn. It's a whole army there. That's got to be their sanctuary. Been on the nose. Yep. Ashley. Ashley. Okay. If it wasn't already obvious before, Leon, one hundred percent should call for backup seriously like he was weighing over his head right from minute one. Oh, nothing but the finest ways uh, want to save Break the knife so bad. Welcome. Well then, what can I do you for? Knife needs care every once in a while. Good luck to you, stranger. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. I remember he originally used to say that. I wonder why the original voice, why they didn't have the original voice actor. If you want up there, you are as you wished. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Little bit goes a long way. You'll see. Anything else, I come back anytime. Uh, keep getting like whenever the hell I see these treasures around areas I've already been to I get this sinking feeling in my chest like oh no I missed them I missed them <laughs> boy of a yarmen to sang 
It's never really explained. I just remember the Leon and Mike having a slight conversation with one another. Uh, saying that, you know, drinks on me. And he says, yeah, I know I'll get far. Until he gets blasted by a rocket launcher. Sorry, I said it like that. I, I remember the game. An old game that used to say it like that. Oh, right. Metal Slug. Metal Slug. Whenever you'd um, get a unique weapon, you hear this narrator guy and you do say, Enemy machine gun. Shotgun. Rowkin launcher. I, I deserve that. I feel like I deserve that.
damn it. Oh, wait. I'm checking the wrong corner. There it is. Anyways, I remember I was reminiscing about what I remembered from the uh previous oh, oh shit. Friendly fire, dude. Sure, with full automatic weapons and rocket launchers. You don't need to be a good shot with that thing. Never have spot that if it weren't for the night. Oh shit. Well, that was short lived. And I thought the ballistic shields in fucking Call of Duty were annoying. Ah, shit. Keep coming.
present for you. for a taste of your own mess. Mike! Oh. All clear! Thanks, buddy! All right! Now watch me do my thing! Oh, this thing's got a finite amount of bullets? Why is it that every time... I, why can't it be just have a finite amount of bullets? Okay, if they're all dead, why do they still have these signatures? That, that should be cold. Okay, just need to make sure I didn't leave any treasures behind. Otherwise, I'd have to reload a safe. Guy have finite amount of ammo. They keep coming. No siento nada.
<laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing like a sadist, but I am. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when the enemy burns? Oh, shit. You aim like a stormtrooper. Yeah, I'll probably find that insanely offensive if they knew what that was. Maybe they do. I don't know. This, more enemies are going to show up. Yeah. Seriously, they have access to weapons like this, but no. The moment I leave that spot, more just. I don't know why I didn't notice that there was that I had to spare ammo. Got now, and that's what's important. I prefer to use the disposable knives first because the other knives are way too valuable. I know there's going to be more the moment I leave this spot.
No? remember this Smosh video I saw a long time ago, like, what if games were real and they used healing items, and, like, this guy loses both of his legs, and he's screaming in pain, and he grabs a green herb, taps him, and says, all better now. And he gets blown up. Spoiler. Yeah, keep your head down. Nice and slow. Uh oh. Oh, I remember there being a rocket launcher. No. a little more dramatic. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Seth. Oh, these bugs are going to be the next to go. Well... Now, Sadler is going to be the next to go. I know it's annoying that I keep opening up the map every like 10 seconds. Uh, gotta know. The bones of our brethren rest in all nations. The blood of our brethren provides all food. We die only to be reborn. We live on through eternity. We reign absolute. Enan Sadler. Okay. So, Sadler's family was banished here, I guess. Oh! I'm kind of sad we can't, like, inlay gemstones into it. Personally, I would keep this. I would just keep this. It just looks cool. Okay, any more treasures I could potentially be missing? No. Okay. Just about got them all. Hoping we run into the merchant soon. The final request. I want every single blue medallion in these ruins smashed to pieces. Even this piece of shit island will look better without them hanging around. Destroy all the blue medallions. Cliffside ruins. 
God. Man, I kind of thought his final request would be a bit more epic than just smash all the medallions. Like a full-on mini-boss or something. Mm. Oh. Oh, and there is one in there. You know what? Since this is the path I need to go to proceed on, I'm going to save that one for last. Yeah, anyway, I remember uh, the original way Mike died was that he got hit with a rocket launcher and it came crashing down right at the cliff dead. Cliff side. And then Leon could examine it and then swear vengeance for Mike. There it is, right in front of me. Okay, maybe not completely in front of me. I very much remember these. Um, I don't know what the hell was in it, and I remember the bags being a lot smaller. I guess at some point we can go upstairs. Hopefully. I remember that I used to be... <clears throat> Shit, where? <clears throat> Fuck you, Ramon. Oh, a splendid bank. I feel better off saving the, uh, barrels. Because of the rubies. Uh, 
The repairs were completed without issue. Since the facility was previously used for confinement, the work required to reinforce the airtight ceiling was minimal. And as long as we don't run into any issues with the cooling system test, we plan to bring in all the remaining specimens from Francisco. Ugh. All of the remaining specimens from Facility 1. All specimens were successfully transferred. However, we experienced a slight hiccup during transport as one of them became violent. Luckily, the number of counties was less than anticipated. Please be extra careful when dealing with them. We have received reports that they are beginning to acquire a tolerance to the low temperatures. <laughs> Ow! Not one of uh, these again. Ah, shit, I got careless. <laughs> Fuck. Another emerald. <clears throat> Aha! There we go. Finished. I just didn't want to take any goddamn risks. I couldn't. I would. <sighs> all right. Since I'm all out of ammo, Probably have at least upgraded the damage on this thing. Well, I definitely made a wise decision. Now, in real life, we could have been able to have moved. gonna be a waste of ammo but I didn't want to risk waking one of them up shit I didn't realize fuck I was just exploring to see about any collectibles here. 
but I know once I start turning this, some of them are going to start waking up. Take a while. That was too fucking close. I... Oh my god. Oh, there's the merchant. And a shooting range. Well, I don't need to do it because he already said that I completed all of the shooting ranges, so I'm not going back there. It was a real pain in the ass to do. Stranger! Three more treasures. On behalf left. of my compatriots, I thank you, friend. Wait, like, are, are, are there a bunch of you, or do you just have teleportation powers? <laughs> Good stuff, stranger. That's right. I'm the jack of all trades. Got trade. a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Uh, okay, let's see. Do I get the red nine stock? Oh. Or. You know what? I'm getting the laser sight. <laughs> Good instinct, stranger. Don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, repair knife, repair body armor. Good luck to you, stranger. And upgrade this knife. We're starting to get an idea of your tastes. Because in this game, there the most are. important weapon to you. you is the melee weapon. I'm gonna at least upgrade the damage. Oh. Thank you. Didn't realize I had more uh, red barrels. Uh, no, Pff. blue velvets. Meant blue velvets. There's some things money can't buy. Wield him. What could come back any time? I don't know. I. I uh. oh. There we go. Almost there. Ashley. Ew. I just, <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to know. Oh my God. I just realized this, that scope was right there. I thought I already put it in storage. Waste of ammo? Yes. Still fun? Also, yes.
Yeah, that was stupid. Okay, I thought that the Plagas was supposed to turn these guys into a bunch of mining zombies. It sounds like some of them actually really enjoy doing some of the shit that they're doing. Because that guy kind of screamed like he, he was going to enjoy shooting me with the rocket <laughs> its own trap. Ah, <clears throat> oh, fuck. That's embarrassing. Bugs to walk into their own trap, but for these guys, they're the ones who set it up in the first place. Yeah, I'm on. Oh shit, he's got a little smart. Sorry. Come on! Well, that's slightly made up for it. Still. I miss the days when you upgrade ammo capacity, you'd automatically get... Like, it would automatically be fully reloaded. There's a brute in here. I heard. <laughs> oh.
I got four heavy hand grenades. Cool. Also, I was like 14 chapters in when I found out that I could have just done that. There was an auto sword here, and I only recently found out about this. <laughs> oh, that is fucking hilarious. Not getting myself all mixed up or anything. I just really want to make sure I got everything. Ah. I don't need to kill all of them. I want to. That little pit stop. Anything else? No? Okay. I don't know. I just felt like doing that. Although, if you really think about it, like, why wasn't it set up like that in the first place? It's like the perfect defense. I wouldn't be able to get to it unless I had high explosives. Possible. 
A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts, are already one with us. Bullshit. Why do you reject serenity when you need only accept the sacred gift? Like she did. Suggler! <laughs> ah, yes, the time has come. For this lamb to join our covenant. Oh, blessings unto him and the sweet mercy they bring. Exalt, calls, and let it be done. <laughs> I remember that being worse. Ashley. Ashley. Damn it. Laboratory B. Looks like it's this way. Sorry for starting, for starting to speak in that cinematic, but I was going to say that I remember that being a little bit more dramatic. Like after Ada. The hell? Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe.
Well, that was a lot different. I remember Leon was the one that actually went before Ashley to make sure it was safe for her to use. This was a lot more intense, but at the same time, it wasn't as dramatic, I should say. Um, like, I remembered after uh, Ada emptied the clip of her SMG in the Saddler, he, it, he just, like, dramatically, it, it wasn't just like the bulls just came right out of it, though. It's like, he just, like, as a demonstration of how ineffective all that firepower was onto him, he just, like, like, ejected all the bullets out of his hands, like, a lot slower and more dramatically. And how Ada helped Leon and Ashley escape was by shooting at a bunch of barrels of explosives. Explosive barrels, I mean. Yeah, and as I, I said, it didn't have any of that, like no hallucinations or stuff like that. I, I just remember it being that, that, like that, like different. But still, though, I thought what they did here was pretty great. Um, yeah, I keep, keep thinking of something else, but I can't really remember. Oh, and again, sorry for speaking in, um, during the cinematic, I, I couldn't help but just blurt something out. Anyway, uh, regardless, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.